guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yela Michelle, CEO and founder of Lavish Curls Beauty. I have a natural hair care business that has three collections, one for hair growth, one for scalp psoriasis, and one for moisture retention. And we are back with another entrepreneur life video. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn on my post notifications so you are aware of when I post, and let's get into this video. And if you aren't already following Lavish Curls Beauty on Instagram, go ahead, follow Lavish Curls Beauty on there, and also follow my personal page, Yale and Michelle. And yeah, so I'm all set up right now, and I actually just got done filming a reel. So I did a reel basically showing me labeling the Rose Water Moisture Shampoo, and I just wanted to do a reel because um, we need content, okay? And I need to show more of my face. And this content is more so for my personal page, Yale and Shale, that page, um, Instagram page. So I just wanted to show like me labeling my product, just some more behind the scenes of just being an entrepreneur and working. So after this video, I do plan to film that reel so it can go up later on tonight. And my reel's pretty much perform better like nighttime and then also since I am a content creator I do get paid for real so it's like let me create this content so I can make this money but um other than that I'm labeling these rose water shampoos but I'm about to go on Instagram live on my lavish curls page and I just want to show you guys some behind the scenes of that and kind of how it goes and hopefully people want to talk today <laughs> so yeah anyways here are my labels and if i haven't updated you guys already um well i did tell you guys in another video that some of my labels i've made shorter now so these are the shorter labels for the rose water moisture shampoo and i really like them like i just i don't know i like the little aesthetic look of it just being a little bit more minimal and sleek and i am still kind of considering just removing this gold border i feel like the gold border around or the gold circle around lavish curls is enough that gives it that luxury feel and then plus the letters um well the words for uh the name of all of my products are in gold so i just want things to be just a tad bit more minimum minimal or what i might do is take the gold border and make it like half so i might make it just a little bit more thinner next go around i'm trying to see i just want to make some slight changes to like my packaging basically and just make it more luxe and what's more so modern now because a lot of like luxury products now these days like the packaging is very sleek and just very minimal so I want to kind of just change it up so it can be more modern to these times um you know always know less is more so yeah and I always I really love the description of the product on the front too I started doing that so yeah let's go on live I got my front porch half and half lemonade iced tea. This is at Dollar Tree, you guys, and it's so good, this brand. I also have the strawberry kiwi lemonade from them, and then also their pink lemonade flavor is good. Like, this is a Dollar Tree gem. Mm. It's so good, so refreshing. So let's, let's hop on live. Whew, I gotta take a little deep breath. <laughs> Cause sometimes I perform better on live when I um what's the word when I'm on YouTube live but when I'm on Instagram live I don't know like Instagram is such a different place <laughs> wipe that lip balm okay I'm hitting live This angle is weird. I think I should. Okay, that's better. Can you guys still see that? Hey guys! Hey guys, happy Thursday. I am currently labeling some products. I'm labeling the Rose Water Moisture Shampoo. So I've already done two so far. So I'm just gonna label products while I'm on live with you guys. What's up, Mo Naturals 22? What's up? What's up? So the lighting kind of blurs out, but if I move closer, you guys can see it. 
I do have um, new labels on the rose water shampoo. Can you guys see that? Let me see. The lighting always like does something weird, but the rose water moisture shampoo has newer labels. They're a little bit more shorter and sleek, so I really like these. And then it also gives a description of the product on the front. And yeah, and then also I did change the rose water shampoo just a little bit. I feel like um, it's a little bit better now. It's still a nice cleansing, moisturizing shampoo, but it's no longer the creamy texture. It's just regular shampoo texture. So this is how the product looks now. And it's still a great cleanser. So, hey guys. So still a great cleanser. So I'm just going to be going ahead and labeling those. And then for my hair, my hair is in a protective style. I just have my V-part wig in, but underneath I, of course, had lavish curls as the wash day routine. So I use my Rose Water Moisture Shampoo, actually. Really, really good. And I did film a reel on this coming soon, so you guys will see that in, like, the next few days. I will be dropping a reel on me cleaning my hair with the Rose Water Shampoo, the new reformulated one. And then also, you guys, um, we have the rose water shampoo. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but I am going ahead and labeling the product. So this is, see that's a better visual. You can see it now. This is what the label looks like. It's really sleek and cute. And the new formula is available on lavishcurlsbeauty.com. So yeah, oh, that's what I was talking about, something about my hair. So I did my wash day. I used my Rose Water Moisture Shampoo, and then I used my Hair Growth, um, the Honey Growth Deep Conditioner. That was bomb. If you've used it before, then you know what I'm talking about. Super, super bomb deep conditioner. So I deep conditioned with that for about an hour this time. I always recommend like 30 minutes with that product, but... I left it in for an hour this time because I was multitasking and making hair growth oil today. So I went ahead and just deep conditioned with that. And then I followed up with the locked in moisture leave in conditioner. And then on my scalp, I used the hair growth oil. And then I used the mango moisture hair growth butter to braid up my hair and seal in moisture. And then I just installed my wig. So everything underneath my hair was like keeping it growing, keeping it healthy from using the hair growth bundle. And then also for my wash day overall, just using the um, moisture collection really helped with my hair just having a really good wash day and prepping it for my protective style. So if you do like wearing like wigs, or weaves or if you're just doing like braids and stuff I do recommend the hair growth bundle because it's going to keep your hair nice and protected it's going to help promote length retention hair growth moisture all the things you need for when you are doing a protective style and keeping your hair growing and healthy while it is in that style so highly highly recommend that and using your hair growth oil scalp massages and then also just making sure you are following a healthy diet to make sure you're drinking plenty of water, eating fruits and vegetables, exercising, that all plays a part in you experiencing hair growth. So, yeah. I'm going ahead and just labeling my product. So yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here and say and just show real quick. Stuck, but we still good. And yeah. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay guys, so I ended up not saving that live because it wasn't too many people on there. Like people were coming like in and out, kind of seeing what I'm doing. My audience on um, Instagram Live still has to get used to me. They're not used to me yet because um, I don't go on live that often. So I might have to schedule when I want to do lives just so they can get more used to me and talking and like, you know, excited. <laughs> Let me adjust my camera a little bit.
so i feel like we're slightly crooked like oh my god okay so now i'm gonna just go ahead and go on youtube live youtube live is usually a little bit more popping so we'll see because my audience my customers like if i'm on on um instagram won't talk as much but if i go on youtube and i go on live with y'all y'all like to talk to me and that's what i love so I had to take my thumbnail picture <laughs> okay We are live. Let's see. And so when I go live on here, I like to try to talk about my products as well. But sometimes I will like go off topic and talk about any questions that they have for me. Because at the end of the day, you guys are my subscribers. So it's like, I want to talk to you guys about whatever like questions you might have too. It doesn't always have to be all business related. I'm just waiting for people to come in. Hey. Hey guys, what's up? Happy Thursday. What are you guys up to? Comment below what you guys are up to. Right now I'm labeling products. You know, working for Lavish Curls Beauty. We're over here labeling the Rose Water Moisture Shampoo. So that's what I'm up to and I'm also filming this. So I'm filming this for the Entrepreneur Life video. So if you guys want to be in it and talk and stuff, go ahead. But um, for the Entrepreneur Life video that I'm filming today, it's just showing me going live on my different social media and talking to people about my products and stuff like that. So I'm just here on live and I am labeling my rose water moisture shampoo i made a batch of it what was it like the day before yesterday so now it's time to label these to make sure they're good and ready to go especially when i have to um package orders so i'm just going ahead and getting these nice and packaged or labeled i mean so there we go and then on to the next one hey guys what's up what's up what's up i'm labeling my lavish curls um rose water moisture shampoo bottles right now and i'm just dropping in to talk to you guys while i do that see what's up what you guys been up to answer any questions you guys might have any questions about my products all that stuff so i am here on this thursday and um also, I do have my V-part wig in, and underneath, of course, I use my Lavish Curls products to keep my hair growing and flourishing underneath. You do not want to wear wigs, and you're not protecting your hair underneath. You're not, you're just wearing some dry, crusty braids. You didn't moisturize, like, mm -mm. that's not how you keep your hair flourishing and growing underneath your wigs. You got to make sure you really protect your hair and give it nourishment and use the right products so for me I use my hair growth oil on my scalp and then I also use the lock and moisture leave-in conditioner today if you want to you can use the um, hair growth leave-in conditioner but I use the locked in moisture leave-in and then I also sealed in the moisture with my um, mango moisture hair growth butter and it's so good like i love that especially when i'm braiding my hair before i put my wigs in like when you take it out your hair is going to be flourishing it's going to be thicker healthier my products really focus on the health of your hair so i always make sure like these products help with not only making your hair look good but you're going to get those health benefits that really just makes your hair look good, flourishes, keeps your scalp healthy, moisture retention, helps with elasticity. So yeah, that's why I don't be too worried about going into my protective styles because, you know, I already know when I wash my hair, 
hair is going to be flourishing even more. So that's one thing I love. But anyways, what are you guys up to? What's helped you? Oh, sorry. What's helped you been most profitable since you launched? Um, most profitable since I launched. Um, so when I check my analytics on Shopify, it shows me that majority of my customers do come from YouTube. So a lot of people who are buying my products are my subscribers. And then, um, the next one comes from Instagram and Instagram that was just organic growth. So a lot of people who found Lavish Crows Beauty on Instagram have found me and purchased my products. And then also I was featured in Marie Claire magazine. I was featured on their online profile and they have over a million followers. So when they featured me, that brought in a lot of traffic and people, especially people who had psoriasis because they were, um, when they interviewed me, they were talking about my scalp psoriasis products. So that really helped bring in customers but majority of um, my customers and stuff has come from my background on YouTube of showing my natural hair journey and stuff like that so a lot of people um, trusted um, my products because they saw my hair growth journey and a lot of people too as soon as I launched my business they realized since I've been using my products how much healthier and longer my hair has gotten is that your hair right now? No, not right now. I'm in a protective style. This is a B part wig. Some of my real hair is out, but um, yeah, I'm just in a V part wig right now. And if you do go on to my Lavish Curls Instagram page last month, I did post a picture of my, what my hair looks like currently, like how long it is. So this is how long my hair is right now. It's down my back. So that's my real hair right now so my real hair is like probably like right here so this hair is just a little bit longer probably like four inches longer than my real hair so yeah and i just actually cut this v part wig today and i love how it looks i feel like it gave it more body as soon as i cut it and it just looks really like realistic um what else does it say yes i came from youtube see so yeah like um just having that background on YouTube, because I had shown my hair journey since I was 19 years old. So that has helped me a lot with just um, building that customer trust from the jump. Because like since I showed my journey from the start, a lot of people knew like I was into hair growth and growing my natural hair out. And knew that I had scalp psoriasis and experienced hair loss and thinning. So regrowing my hair was something that was important to me. And then also, if you watch my channel for so long, you notice I always loved products that had like clean ingredients and stuff that benefited your hair. So that was very important when I released Lavish Curls. And then also, too, if you've watched my channel, um, then you know I've always used hair growth oils. Like, I love hair growth oils. <laughs> so um, it was like just one of those things where it's like, of course, I'm going to have a hair growth collection or release a hair growth oil and stuff like that if your business gets bigger than what it is would you have people come work with you of course I actually want to hire somebody part-time right now because I am starting to really need help so um I'm thinking about probably by the end of the year I would hire somebody part-time because doing a lot of this stuff on my own is draining because I have to make so many products constantly um, because the stuff just sells so I have to always make more and more and then it's like after I make products too then I still have to label them and then I have to well first I have to fill them in the bottles then I have to label them and then I have to ship stuff out so that's a lot to do on my own so having somebody come in part time that helps me out is definitely going to be needed soon but I'm going to be figuring that out all out like later on because my business keeps growing. So it's very important that I'm able to keep up with everything because I recently, what was that in February? I got my storage. So that's been helping me out a lot too, to just keep up with inventory and keep up with the demand because 
I was outgrowing putting stuff in my apartment like my room was turning into a warehouse so I was like outgrowing everything so I had to make sure um, I could keep up so that's when I finally got storage and then if I outgrow that storage I'm gonna get a bigger one and then eventually I would need a warehouse maybe open doing any other, doing other video need your content um so what was that the other day i mean i still do my hair videos the wig tutorial installs and then i also just started like this luxury on a budget series because a lot of like replica companies <laughs> have been reaching out to me and i actually do like designer stuff and like designer purses and stuff so that's been fun to do so I pretty much just like doing what I enjoy so I'm enjoying that right now and then um I do still do clothing hauls every now and then but I like to just do what performs the best on my channel and so far lately you guys really love my entrepreneur life video so I just want to keep giving that to you guys and giving guys behind the scenes and I'm actually filming one right now and I'm doing a um video just letting them watch me go live and see how I, I talk with my audience and stuff like that so yeah and that video is already starting to get kind of long let me see um, I don't really want to do relationship content because I don't like showing my relationship I feel like a relationship is just very sacred and it should be private. I don't feel like the world needs to be seeing your relationship as like entertainment, you know? Because I don't see anything good come from relationship channels. I've seen so many relationships end from the internet and exposing their relationship. And then I just feel like it's a hard time kind of knowing like if somebody's doing something genuine for you. So a lot of these people are like, oh, I bought my girlfriend a $40,000 car, $100,000 purse. like, And it's like, did you genuinely do that for her or are you just doing it for a video? So, And then a lot of people get caught up in that stuff and then wanting to come across as if they have the most perfect relationship when, you know, all relationships go through stuff. It's like, I'm not about to be out here giving advice and looking like the perfect relationship when, you know, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I like it to just be very sacred and that's what I really enjoy, you know. Let's see, it makes sense on nice picture. Yeah, like I just like after seeing what happened with De'Aaron and Ken, it's like mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and just a lot of these couples too, like when they get mad at each other then they wanna go airing out each other's business. It's just like I'd rather not. Like the whole world gotta know when you're going through ups and downs, like I don't like it at all. I really don't <laughs> so I'm gonna end this video real quick so guys I hope you all enjoyed today's entrepreneur life video this is just a little behind the scenes of me going live do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already make sure you check out lavish curls beauty and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys